Okay, hello, lucky noob here. And I am bringing you this Perm versus Zerk. Green eggs and spam versus just Burisu. Which was played yesterday and I, I just felt I had to cast this. This always feels so weird. Okay, this is the standard. Hmm. Yeah, uh, this is something that has to be seen by people. Now, Green Eggs and Spam, who's living up to his nickname of 250 Spam versus the no Spam Burris 25 APM not even being able to have his drones. What you do is you rally point them to some of the mineral patches so when they spawn they immediately go there and then you just click them and put them on the on the mineral itself and he's going early pool and uh, supply cap here for our friend who's dropped 100 APM in this time and Borisso has doubled his APM to make an extractor so amazing amazing stuff and yeah I'll wait to see what happens I do I have seen the game but I already forgotten most of it but I know it's a fun little game and I'll maybe oh the kiss the drone and the SCV always oh, nice to see so Borisso is off racing here his Original race is uh, Terran, but I did want him to experience the Zerg. He's always oh, really supply locked. But now the links are being produced, the SCV sees everything, and will there be. Holy shit! There is a reaction, and there is also chasing the drone. I remember that Buriso was typing something in chat so he was not microing his oh no fuck okay we missed the first death let's rewind oh my god what happened what jesus just lost my entire <laughs> i lost i don't know what happens what why that happens maybe enough memory only one dude on gas which is weird <clears throat> And maybe he's going for some special timing and oh the drone boom dead see this is annoying because you have to put it back out and you i'll remember that out you beautiful but we do have the first links and they were scouted so yes we're returning back there is a bunker and he lifts off the barracks to, just to let the links in, I guess. No, he was trying to crush his uh, Marine, actually. The links going to attack the... No, just going to bypass the banker. One link dies and now going to... One link will target the SUVs and the rest will go for a command center. But they do find their senses. The Marine is bravely going out and dies. But does kill another Zergling. So this is already... Terrible, terrible damage. Like five SCVs maybe died so far. The links are getting destroyed. Oh, but at what cost? Yeah, put them back to mining, please. Thank you. One more in being produced. So this will be this pathetic rush will be held. Did way too much damage. Of course, green eggs and spam. I just call him spam. <sighs> he he has not played for a long time and he's mostly played against AIs from what, what he says at least but yeah, for a player who's only played against AI he's very good actually I think he has some pretty basic good knowledge of the game and Bariso does as well but as Terran not a Zerg so that's why I thought this will be evenly matched and so far it appears to be 
one. Let's how many drones is that? Eight drones. Now let's select all of them. Now it's a control group of drones. No gas being mined. Because who needs gas, right? Oh there you go, he's going back. <laughs> nice. Versus very few SUVs as well, 12 SUVs and one idol. Oh no, he does move it nice. We have Academy and another factory, so he's going for vouchers. Good, vouchers are good. This is instant mech of one base. It's, I mean, it's a weird build, but so far you've seen your opponent go Zerglings and Idol Drones. So it might be effective if he uses it, of course, but how are you going to get out now? He, he does know about the process of lifting up. And more depots. Yeah, he's really scared. He's walling off hardcore. This is, of course, not linked tight, but he does. They will funnel and die to the four marines now in the bunker. And mine being researched, okay. You might want to go for speed first, but who am I to say what's best? There is a sunken colony. You can basically, right now, you can go with the two vouchers, bypass the sunken, and kill the one Zergling that's protecting all the less and less drones because he's using them for buildings. He does not remember to rebuild them. This is a very common mistake with Zerg and not building anything in the natural, of course. Because this is just for show. Idle larva. All the good stuff. There you go. It's just taking... <laughs> taking drones to build stuff. And he still has 800 in the bank. It's amazing. I think he's uh, collecting them for the mutilisks. And putting defensive mines so he can take his natural expansion, the Terranese, and one marine will protect everything, of course. And constructing turrets already because now oh, he has many SCVs, that's good. It's pretty good. Did he scan? I think he will scan at some point. A little bit of scouting. This again, this could have ended before the second sunken. The second sunken is positioned pretty nicely now. So run by would not be. Oh, I missed the scan. Oh no, he scanned. No. He did. I think he saw the Mytilisk, so he does know what's coming. And we have the first tank. City Guidely. Ch chilling. Not on top of the mice, which is good. Now we'll. See this! Oh my goodness! God damn it! What is this? Another turret? Yes! Many turret. Good. More randomly positioned turrets. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You will not die to mutilisks. I mean, apart from the natural expansion. Of course, let's see the famous Boris Mutilisk. He has five now. Six, seven the way and the queen's nest now the purpose of mutilisks usually is to go and to harass your opponent so he doesn't kill you but of course your opponent only has one tank and four vouchers so he's not going to kill you so you don't even need to harass him he has either scvs three of them now chatting with the marine another tank passes by Oh, they killed the observing link. This link should have been here, but was home for whatever reason. Now, only one drone in the natural still. <laughs> God damn it, Varissa, just make drones and use your Mutalisk to do something. Could actually kill the two turrets in natural, snipe the tanks, take out the natural. It doesn't matter really because it's there's only three SCVs mining and one on gas. Oh, now he picks them up. Yes, timing. Timing is everything. More factories. 
not being utilized, even though he does have the minerals, more factors. So he is making the production, but he doesn't have enough SCVs in the nature, especially to help it. There are all the stacking of the mutalisks and the overlord going first to take up some damage. Didn't work. Okay, takes one. Okay, you can take this. Why are you backing off? You can. Oh, that's not how you micro. There's n this is pointless micro. It's really pointless micro at this point. If you can't micro, don't do it. Because you're just hurting yourself. Oh, look at this. Oh, so he takes the fight where are three turrets instead of the fight where are two turrets and flies on top of one of them and loses all, absolutely all of his mutilus. He could have retreated, you know, like a million times. But yeah, the damage is, he's still done a lot of damage because there's four idol <laughs> that were trying to repair the turret, four idol SCVs here and yeah, more turrets being constructed. <laughs> so he has panicked the turret, which should panic because he has no anti-air apart from the turrets. And natural lair. Yep. Because why not? Two base. Oh, excuse me. Three base now. That's really base uh, one and a half bases yeah basically one and a half bases of zerg oh this is scouted and i believe actually does remaster i think takes out the chat definitely three overlords because supply cap no it is not supply cap he's preventatively taking overlords like that of course oh and now we have a move out of the vultures and the four tanks. There are only two mutalists and that's the all of the Burisu army. So now, amazingly, the Terran has the upper hand because the Zerg spam has the upper hand because all the mutalists died. So now he can, if he wishes to, so he chooses to kill the two sunken colonies with his overwhelming forces and end the game right here, right now. No problem. Yeah, just moves in, kills the two sunkens. Sure, there are two mutalists, but by the time they kill you, you might produce a Valkyrie. Yeah, something to fight the mutalists. Sure, a Valkyrie. It's as bad as anything. The Mutalist, sure. Valkyrie can take care of that. Ultralist Cavern, Defiler Mount, and another Creep Coin. <laughs> All the things you don't need versus tanks and vouchers. <laughs> All you need here is to make a few more Mutalisks and many more drones in the match. Look at this. He's literally mining with his starting four drones. And some on gas, of course. But on the mineral side. Now, yeah. Let's produce some links. Oh, there you go. The Terran finally found his balls. And he's sieging to take out two sunken colonies. We'll lose a tank. No. There's the Valkyrie defense. Now moving with the vouchers and kill the other drones. Please. He does lose one tank. Amazing. The Vouch is having a really hard time. Almost lose another tank now. Go with the Vouchers and kill the drones. Oh no, Voucher is victorious. Better be. Kill the drones. Kill the drones. Yeah, he's sort of killing the drones with one watch. <laughs> wow, this is... The range on Vouchers is amazing, by the way. And the lair, because it has more hit points. We'll give some time to the Burris to make... to morph some Mutalisks. Oh, there you go! More Mutalisks! Nice! Now, if only he made one Scourge to take out the Voucher, he'll still do it, yeah. And there you go! We have a 
somewhat successful, but no! I was going to say successful defense. Goliaths have been not upgraded, but still, Goliaths, good. Good, good, good thinking. When you are being attacked by air, go on the air, that's good. That is very good. And he destroys two Goliaths and one Valkyrie, destroy like five Mitlisks. I don't know how that happened. I think because they and there are SCVs with minerals here for whatever reason. Okay, I think I will zoom out a little bit. Theoretically. And links, yeah, links won't cut it. Where are the ultras still upgrading them? He can produce two? Maybe three if he's lucky. He's mining with four drones now. <laughs> uh, but this is going on still. Yay! And I can't be too harsh because it's not. and loses a tank. He loses both tanks. Still, vouchers can kill all the four remaining drones, and still we can make six mutalisks, but he is relentlessly making zerglings and only two mutalisks. He can. he can spend. he doesn't. oh, he doesn't even have enough larva. Oh, that's so sad. Actually, if you do the. The SCVs, why are they here? I don't know. Oh, he's repairing vouchers. He's repairing the voucher. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, the Goliath is dying. <laughs> and now you all die to Mutalisks. Beautiful. In the meantime, tanks are destroying the pointless base. Oh, actually, he was mining here, of course, not defending it. Not defending his only real mining base. Not defending his main base instead. Yes, kill the Vulture and take care of the rest, please. Oh, but now we have three Goliaths with Charon Boosters and Mutalisks and no chance. Because he upgraded Glaive Worms instead of uh, Flyer Carapace. And I don't know why he made the Ultralis cover. Do you really think you can make Ultras? <laughs> he still can make two of them. Still can make six more mutalisks and not lose this. Instead, he's again choosing to make zerglings, forces tanks and goliaths and vouchers. Five kill goliaths, so so bad. And two. Ooh, the missiles! Come on, you know scourges, scourges. You can make them. Oh, look at the tactics! He baited! I've done this! Oh, I do. oh he baited the Mutalis into the Goliath fire. And unfortunately, there is nothing here to deal with Goliaths. He even scans just to make sure. And he. <laughs> oh, spam. Oh. I mean, there is really nothing to say. <laughs> It's beautiful in its own way. And why are you still making Zerlings? If he made one defiler, actually could have destroyed this. Cancel. Okay. Damage is a glad, kills another one. And where is it? He has one queen here. And yeah, he did a drop. I miss that as well. I have not cast it in a long time. Oh, just give me control over the fucking thing. Thank you. There it is. His last... That's genius. Oh, there you go. So I can see them, but I can't see what's inside. I have to do this and then this again. Oh, so bad. Anyway. He's going to sacrifice the Overlord first. Which is good. Not drop the rest. Going to sacrifice another overlord. Yep. And I don't think he dropped everything, but going to damage the bunker and the marines get all the kills. Probably the glad. Get some no four kills for the glad. Pretty good. So this is yeah, this is I think the first game of Mr. Spam, who is actually not playing remaster, he's playing regular old Brood War. 
and uh, yeah, he wins. Very impressive versus the off race of uh, Mr. I can kill everybody, Burisu. Double APM, but still he had the chance, he had the game. All of them, both of them could have won at some point, but nobody won this game really. And off to the next one.